Here's the aftermath of trying to get the uh, spanner nut off that holds the bearing carrier in on this Merc Cruiser outdrive. So if you ever have this happen to you, you can uh, look for the little holes, or I guess they're not holes, they're the little indentations there where you can drill. So if you see this little circle on the tooth, you can drill that and then take a punch or something and knock this out. Are you running? Mm -hmm. So drilling and beating this out caused much swearing and frustration. It looks like there is a little bit of wiggle in this uh, nut. And oh, oh, victory. Victory is ours. In the pouring rain. Getting another one back in though. Now we gotta clean up all of our shavings and mess from drilling it and pull the bearing carrier with a different specialized tool. Okay, here's the situation. We had water in the outdrive and the uh, outdrive is not holding pressure. Uh, it means seals and that are bad in various spots. And one of the things that I had noticed is getting water um, down here and a waxy buildup on the prop shaft suggests that these seals uh, might be bad or probably bad and we have the uh, tool to remove this nut that didn't go well the nut did not want to come out ended up drilling it and taking a punch and folding it in and breaking it into pieces and taking it out that way and then using heat penetrating oils whatever else um, we could think of we put the puller on the bearing carrier and it started to curl the um, edges of the, the ring here that goes around, started curling it back up. So um, in here, the bearing carrier is seized in place. It does not want to let go. And it was just tearing the, the leading edge out. It's just um, gonna be ruined. So, here was the consideration I did. Um, rather than try and take this any further, here is the cost analysis that we made. The boat's probably worth more than twice what I paid for it. The outdrive was um, $1,665 with the install kit and the anodes. So if you're gonna hang onto the boat for another three or four years, ask yourself, can you live with paying $400 a year to have a boat of this size with the inboard V8 for you know water sports and recreation? Well, for us, yeah, the answer was uh, we would have way more time and effort into trying to get a 50-year-old or almost 50-year-old outdrive apart. And so the next consideration was replacing everything bell housing back for $1,600. I got my dirtiest clothes on for this because it's a messy job. Alright, go ahead. Okay, if memory serves, the intermediate ship here needs to go forward and the shift uh, lever here needs to be fully counterclockwise. I had to take a break because of rain coming through, um, but uh, this went together as you'd expect. It, pretty straightforward. Things slid right into place. So. 
um, I'll get a helper and grease up these splines and mount it onto the back of the boat. I'm just going to take one last look and make sure that that gasket is, um, I, there's no way you'll be able to see this here, but you don't want that gasket to ride over the um, uh, o-ring in here. So I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on this side of the gasket so it stays just to the edge. And then I'm going to tighten these new nuts that uh, were sent out with the outright. All right, um, we put oil in the unit. The problem that we ran into is the fill and vent gasket did not want to come out. And then taking them out, they pretty much fell apart there. And then, so we ended up using some uh, ones we had down in the shop. We happen to have a few on hand, so we used genuine Mercruiser for that. Uh, then pumping the oil out, I don't know how well this will show up here, but um, quite a bit of metal shavings were pushed out the vent hole. So I pumped more through than I needed and got rid of uh, quite a bit of metal. So that's concerning too. Before we put oil in and test ran it, one thing we checked is to make sure when we put it in neutral, it the prop spun freely and put it in reverse. Uh, it seemed to engage and then back into drive, it seemed to engage. Now, come back. Pop it ahead. The other thing we noticed too, not a huge issue, but the geometry of the trim and tilt seems to be different now. Um, can you drop that, hit the um, yeah. out drive? If you put the out drive into a little more. Okay, stop. So if you put the out drive in the down position as you can see it's going to touch the uh, driveway Pinion bearing is getting a bit long in the tube. So the initial run, everything's cool. Um, it engages well, forward and reverse, no real problems that we can see. So we'll uh, run it, see how it goes. Okay, we um, had a fellow outside of town with the tool pull the gimbal bearing and now all of our noise is gone. So I say that conclusively took care of that issue. No more growling or returning or anything. All right, it's kind of dark in the shop here. I got the boat inside. It's been probably close to 10 hours, maybe a little less of run time, so it's time for the first oil change. So I got a nice clean pan that I wiped out and we'll drop the oil and get a look at what that looks like. Okay, um, fair amount of metal shavings in here. Hopefully this shows up, these little bitty sparkly bits of metal down in the oil and then on the uh, 
end of the fill, I'm sorry, the drain plug. Quite a bit on that magnet end. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this settle tipped up on end like this, and then I'll pour the oil off and see what's left in the pan. So let this sit for an hour or so. Okay, so there's some decent size flex and it's really just reflecting everything behind me. Um, but nothing really crazy when I dump the pan out. Some filings and different bits of metal from the machining process, I guess, were expected. Um, my initial concern that the unit was put together without really being cleaned out. I don't know if that's really going to result in any long-term issues. But I don't know if you can see this on camera. There are some, you know, pointy little filings that I can feel in the bottom of the pan there. Uh, but all in all, the oil looks pretty good. It's um, not overly dirty. It's not frothy or milky like it's getting water in it or anything. It's pretty much looking the way you'd probably want it to look. So I hope this process helps others.